so I've taken you through a number of scenarios here, taking you through how virtual insurance from an IT perspective and from a user perspective can begin to think about the post-PC era. So I'm here with Steve. Congratulations on an awesome keynote. Very big emphasis on end user computing. Why did we do that? Yeah, I had a lot of fun on the keynote this year. Uh, one of the bigger ones we've ever done. Uh, so we started with end user computing at the first part, and this is something that's personally relevant to all of us. And it's also we're making a number of big announcements. So obviously the shipment of vSphere 5 and View 5 were very big hallmarks of this. But we're also talking about our new offerings called Mobile Horizon, sorry, Horizon Mobile, uh, App Blast, and also pulling it all together with Project Octopus and the future of Horizon. But what's really important is that we shared our full vision along with the products that are going to be supporting it in the coming time. And that really, I think, starts it off on a good tone. And is there any tie back to what we're doing with vSphere compared to what we're doing with the end user computing bit? Yeah, um, this is actually something I think is pretty interesting. And we found that the easier you make an end user's life, the more you're relying on some big infrastructure behind the scenes. So it obviously starts with vSphere when we're hosting desktops, VDI. But everything you're providing is a SaaS service and everything you're managing relies on some robust infrastructure behind it. So we think that the mission of vSphere is to support all these applications and all these use cases. So it's a really nice tie from one to the other. So when do we disrupt, uh, uh, when do we stop disrupting the industry? I mean, I've heard you talk about uh, breaking up the location identity apart. Yeah. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, another fun announcement we made was around VXLAN. And VXLAN is around really making networking fully virtualization aware. And We've been doing this for a while. We uh, have obviously focused a lot on computation and memory and even storage, but we really haven't taken networking yet where it needs to be. So um, this is a very disruptive move. It is really the last physical impediment to truly having mobile workloads. And what's also cool is that we did it in collaboration with Cisco and our other partners in the industry. And I mean, this is not a, a small, easy thing to do, right? How long is this gonna, gonna take to make this realize in the real world? No, I mean, we've been working on this for a little while now, certainly, and, and uh, did a lot of work leading into submitting it to a standards body and announcing things today. Um, the good news is that we've taken an approach that you can encapsulate, they're called layer two packets within layer three. But this really means is that we can begin to create these overlay networks on existing infrastructure in the network, which in turn means we can roll it out rather aggressively. So when will people have a network that has location and identity completely separated? Well, it's going to be a little while for sure until it reaches all the different infrastructure, but we're seeing early demonstrations from some of the customers here even on how they're thinking about doing this and how they roll it out. And uh, we did launch this in accord with a number of partners who are all going to be coming up with their own announcements on when they're able to roll out VXLAN and take it forward. Okay. Uh, I have to ask, any other new things that are coming out that people can expect from VMware? What else is cool coming out? <laughs> There's a lot that we announced. Uh, we have almost 4,000 engineers now. Uh, I wasn't able to talk about even 25% of the projects going on there. So um, I, won't, I won't spill any beans on any products I can't announce yet. But uh, right after VMworld, you can expect some more flings in our labs page. And you'll also see some new announcements coming out in Europe when we do this again. So you're going to do the keynote in, in Copenhagen? We'll see you there? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, due to scheduling readings, I'm actually doing the opening keynote there. And Paul will do the, the last day. So we're going to switch order on this one. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thanks.